Hello Lana. I am your teacher Ouma Bernard and this is Form 3 English. In this lesson we are going through literary appreciation and we are going to learn how to introduce a literary essay. So by the end of this lesson you should be able to introduce a literary essay using either the general or textual approach. I hope you learn something from this lesson and will gain from it. So we start by introducing our lesson and defining introduction in the context of literary essays. An introduction is just a brief factual background information in relation to the question that you have been given. And this question is based on a literary text. In our situation, the set books. It could be A Doll's House, Blossoms of the Savannah, Memories We Lost and Other Stories, uh, Inheritance, or The Pearl. So we are talking about how to introduce your essay based on these. So the introduction should be factual and it should give background information about what you want to write. And as I've already mentioned, it can either be general or specific. So, by introducing it in a general way, you are simply saying that what you want to address is something that is similar to what happens in the contemporary society, in our country, or even in the whole world. Then that will be a general introduction. But if it is a textual one, then you simply write specific background information from the text using the characters. But at this point, you don't give the events because that will be done in the body where you are giving explanations. But an ideal introduction should be a, a blend of the two, the general and the contextual form. So you link the introduction to the text and it becomes a very good introduction. A good introduction grabs the reader's attention. And how do you grab the reader's attention? By pointing out the important parts of the question and clearly showing that that is what you are going to talk about. So a good introduction sets the stage and gives a sense of direction for your writing. It also states your position. If you have been given an open question, it is important to state your position at the introduction level. But in most questions, uh, the position is always given to you by being told that you should state the validity of the statement or you should prove the truth of this statement. In that case, you have to support the statement that you've been given. But if it is just left open, then at the introduction, you have to state whether you are supporting the claim in the statement or not. So it depends on the way the question itself has been framed. The introduction, my dear student, should be the first paragraph of your essay. And it is an independent one. So don't link the introduction with your first body paragraph. Let these be two distinct paragraphs. And this introduction should not have any points. So it should be devoid of the points that you are going to raise in your explanation. If you give points at the introduction level, you might lose some marks because the points are supposed to appear in the body of your essay. You are also discouraged from defining key terms in an introduction. You are not supposed to define any key terms. Just pretend that the one who has asked you the question knows the definitions of all the terms used and therefore they only want you to point out that your essay is going to take a certain direction. That is actually what is required in the introduction to tell us the direction your essay is going to take. 
Let us use a question as an example and interpret it together. Self-sacrifice must be rewarded. Basing your illustrations on A Doll's House by Henrik Ibsen, discuss the truth in this statement. Now, when you're given such a statement, the first thing you'd want to do is to highlight the key terms. And the first key term I'm seeing here is self-sacrifice. Then, must be rewarded. And that forms the statement that we are going to support in this essay. So then, it means that the essay is going to have two distinct parts. The first part is going to talk about self-sacrifice. And the second part, how the sacrifice is rewarded. So, while you will be writing your body paragraphs, which we will speak about in another video, each paragraph must tell us what the, se the self-sacrifice was and how it was rewarded. But we shall cross that bridge when we reach there. Back to our discussion on introduction. So, uh, you have to know the keywords, and we've underlined them. Self-sacrifice and the fact that it must be rewarded. And then you link that to the text. You link that to the text. So the two points or the two sides of this story must come out. The self-sacrifice and the fact that they are rewarded. And even in your introduction, the general statement you give must be to the effect that there are some characters in this play, Adult's House, that make some self-sacrifice. And in the end, they are rewarded. But also remember, you are not supposed to use the statement the way it is. You must paraphrase. You must write it in your own words. So, the examiner would not want to see the phrase self-sacrifice or the phrase must be rewarded. But what you write to replace that must mean the same. So then you paraphrase. You write in your own words by using synonyms, restructuring the sentence, and so on and so forth. So, if we were to give a general introduction of this, then here is an example. In life, those who go out of their ways to assist others in their times of need always enjoy the fruits of their labor. Now, up to there, what have we said? We have simply said self-sacrifice must be rewarded. But using other words, in life, those who go out of their ways to assist others in their times of need always enjoy the fruits of their labor. Then, remember, we have to link it to the text. So that is the next part. Though they may sow in tears, they normally reap in joy. This is the case with some characters in a doll's house. Now, that last sentence there is very important because it will determine whether you score full marks in the introduction or not. That is the sentence, my dear student, that ties your introduction to the text by just saying that this is the case with some characters in a doll's house. What of a specific introduction? A specific introduction mentions the characters in the text, but doesn't necessarily tell us exactly what happens to them because that is what we will be doing in the body. So this is an example. In a doll's house, Nora, Mrs. Linde, Nurse Anne, and Nils Krogstad struggle to make life bearable for their family members. So see up to there, struggling to make life bearable for their family members, what's that? Very good. That's self-sacrifice. So even if we are introducing with the characters, we still mention the content of the statement we've been given. Self-sacrifice. Which part is remaining? The reward, that it must be rewarded. So they, are, they struggle to make life bearable for their family members. And they live to celebrate their heroic deeds. Isn't that a reward? Yes. So simply think of the two parts. Self-sacrifice and the reward. And decide whether you want your introduction to be general or specific. Once you've done that, you will be home and dry. You will have a good introduction that will give you the two marks that are normally awarded in the introduction for such an essay. Thank you very much for concentrating up to this point. I hope 
you've learned how to introduce your essays and you'll be scoring the full two marks in the introduction part. Stay put for more videos of this kind to learn about the body and the conclusion for you to know how to write an essay based on said texts. I wish you well, stay safe, keep learning in case you need to give feedback you can call me, my number is on the screen, or you can reach out to the academic department, the languages department, and you'll get the assistance that you need. But for today, goodbye, see you in the next lesson.